Okay, we're going to review a few things about uh, finding vertical asymptotes. Uh, vertical asymptotes are caused by things that make the denominator equal zero. So it looks on this one like you might have a problem at x equals five because the value of five would make it to be zero. To double check, see if there's anything you can factor out of the numerator. You could take out a three, but that's going to leave you with a five x minus six. Since this does not cancel out, uh, that means uh, this x minus five is a factor that does not cancel out and it causes a vertical asymptote. So what you would say is that there was one vertical asymptote and then you would just use your answer of x equals five, submit your answer, and that should be correct. You can always check these with Desmos, but it's a good idea maybe to try them the first time algebraically and go from there. Uh, let's go ahead and look at another one maybe. If I have something like this, uh, I need to see what I can do about factoring out the bottom. I know all of these have a three, so I could start by taking out a three. That'll leave me with an x squared minus five x, and then minus a 30. Then I'm looking for things that multiply to 30 and add to negative five. I'm not gonna come up with anything there, I don't think. I'm not seeing anything offhand that multiplies to 30 and adds to negative five. So that seems kind of odd, and as I check my division, I find 3 goes into 150 50 times. So now I'm trying to multiply to 50 and add to negative 5. So 5 and 10 will work with that. So I can have an x minus 10 and an x plus 5. That makes me think there's probably going to be two vertical asymptotes. Just to be sure, we need to factor the numerator because something could cancel out. When I take out an x, I have an x minus 9. So when I compare this and this, there is nothing that will cancel. So both of those are vertical asymptotes. If one of them did cancel, it would be a whole, and I would only have one vertical asymptote. But since uh, neither one of those cancel, both of those factors will make a vertical asymptote. So a positive 10 will make um, the first one equal zero, and a negative 5 will make the second one equal zero. And that's how you can go through these find vertical asymptotes. You can always check these with Desmos once again. We'll go ahead and try a few on horizontal asymptotes. Okay, when I'm looking at horizontal asymptotes, I'm looking at the highest power of x in standard form. So the highest power of x in this case is an x squared. So when I look at this problem, I have one x squared on the bottom and no x squareds on top. So zero minus one would be one horizontal asymptote of y equals zero. We'll go ahead and try another one maybe. On this one, my highest power of x is x squared. So I have four x squareds on top and two x squareds on the bottom. So four over two would give me a horizontal asymptote of y equals two, just one horizontal asymptote. We'll try another one. On this one, um, I don't have anything that'll cancel out. So I guess I would need to think of what this would be in standard form. I'm not gonna take the time to multiply the entire thing out, but what I am going to say is I'm gonna multiply the three times two X times X to get what my leading term was. So three times two X would be six X and then times another X is a six X squared. So I have six X squared on top and a X on the bottom. Well, my highest power is x squared, and I have six of them on top, but none on the bottom. So since I cannot divide six by zero, this means I cannot have a horizontal asymptote. So the answer I need to pick is no horizontal asymptotes and submit it as my answer. It gives you the option of two horizontal asymptotes. I don't think that's gonna come up. Uh, it's possible I have two verticals, but I don't think any of these problems we're gonna run across will be two horizontals. So uh, once again, you can always graph these in Desmos to check, especially if you missed it the first time, and hopefully this will help you figure out how to do these problems.